Steve, massive congratulations. A 12th win in a row to end the season in front of 9,500 people. Some of your feelings after that one. Thank you very much. I still don't think it's ever going to sink in, really. You know, I think the attendance today was, was outstanding and what a way to sort of cap off the three points with a, with a late goal, similar to the away performance at Connors Key. But it's something that I'll remember and I'm sure the girls will for, for as long as they play for this football club. And I just can't thank the club and obviously the, the fans that have turned out today for everything that they've done for us to get this event happening. You mentioned again another late win against Connors Keeper. Is it fair to say another deserved win? Uh, I think first half we sort of struggled to get going a little bit. Um, you know, we've got to give them credit. They sort of stamped their authority on the game. We scored against the run of play. Poor defending for the goal uh, to level from a set piece. So we were a little bit disappointed and we said to them at half time, we've just got to be better on the ball and react a little bit quicker. Second half, I thought we had a really good spell. Uh, you know, cause the keeper a few more issues and I think we deserve to obviously get the, the winner towards the end. What were the feelings like walking out the tunnel after the stadium started to fill up today? To be honest, I, I said it all, all day really. I didn't think it had hit me until, until it happened. Um, and yeah, I think for the warm up it was nice and chilled a little bit and then you could see it minute by minute it was filling and you know what an occasion, you know, to beat to beat the record and to host it here is is stuff that dreams are made of really. I'm absolutely delighted. And what does it mean to you to not only have the fans in but the co chairman, first team manager Phil Parkinson as well? What does that mean to you? It means so much. I mean, you know, all season they've They've been asking on a Monday, oh, you know, it's a great result at the weekend. The co-chairman tweeting as well, you know, all over social media. So the backing from, from those guys has been outstanding. And, you know, that it's for them more than, you know, for, for other people as well. You know, it, it's, it's nice to, to win in front of them. And it means so much more that they're, they're a part of it today. And to see the players lifting the trophy as well. You know, it's been a, a long year, I guess a hard fought year since just missing out last year. I guess you put that to bed firmly now. Absolutely, you know, it was something that we spoke about last year, you know, it hurt a lot. You know, it popped up on my memories the other day that it was a year to the day that, you know, we lost at Slandidno and, you know, it just shows how far we've come. Uh, we addressed it in the summer and you've got to give the players a lot of credit for the way that they've obviously applied themselves this year. To win 12 games out of 12 is is a remarkable really at any level so you know a massive congratulations to the girls and thoroughly de deserve the, the crown of champions. Obviously some very different wins in there not least today and what do you learn from occasions like this about the character of the players? Well it was big really you know because of the the, the amount of fans that were here watching um, you know a bit more of an atmosphere about the game and you know the players had to obviously adapt to that and you know it took them a while to settle down but you know, you could see from the goal at the end there, you know, they were, it's like they've done it week in, week out. And, you know, I'm delighted for the girls, really. Obviously, one final game to go, that playoff against Britain Ferry. How do you prepare for that now? It's straight to work, really. You know, we're going to go down and watch next weekend uh, their final league game, just so we've obviously got uh, a little bit of detail on them. You know, we'll do prepare then for training and do our homework from there. And you like you say, it's one last big push. We've worked so hard for it, so we've got to make sure that we're we're ready for that game now. Brilliant, Steve. All the best. Thank you very much.